Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to start on a really cool project, I think it's cool anyways, I'm going to start building my son his first bow, and it's just going to be, it's going to be a long bow, but it's, it's only going to be, you know, this big, uh, I'm really excited about it, hope you guys enjoy it. So the first thing I want to do is choke this up in the vise, this is just a little little bitty vice. I actually got a two by two piece of red oak. The grain runs pretty true all the way down. Uh, it's got a pretty good tight section right there. So we're gonna make this the back of the bow and then cut all that away. Gonna come down, make the handle, so on and so forth. I'm gonna try not to mar this thing up too bad, so. Of course, this is going to be a kid's bow, so it's not going to be super powerful. Uh, I actually don't expect it to be more than 10 or 15 pounds, honestly. So I just hit it on the back with a little bit of 80 grit, just kind of smooth it out, get any little imperfections off of it. And then what I'm going to do is take some of this fiberglass tape and run down it probably about six or seven layers of it honestly for that I'm going to use type bond three because it's my favorite super strong waterproof very durable Rub this around. I'm just gonna take my time with this so it doesn't, don't have to really be in too big of a hurry. Uh, just wanna make sure everything's got a good coat of this glue on it. And you can, it's okay for it to be a little tacky. I'm not worried about the overhang on this at all. Because all of that's just going to be cut off later. I do want it to go tip to tip though. Any spots you can see, you see this little C shape right here? There's no glue there. Uh, there's no glue coming through. So any of these spots that you see, you kind of, you can either add more glue, you can press down on it. But you want it all to be stuck. If you have to, you can even apply a little bit more glue. It ain't gonna hurt anything. We're gonna be doing more than one layer. Like I said, I'm really not worried about any overhang. Now that I've got all the drywall tape on over there, my fiberglass backing, 
I'm going to fill it up with glue. Good liberal amount. There's a lot of holes there that need to be filled up. Okay, so I'm gonna let this set overnight, uh, probably for about 24 hours. Let that glue really set up, and then uh, come back and start working on turning it into a bow. For me, you know, I gotta wait 24 hours, but for you, you literally gotta wait this long. You know, there. See, that didn't take too long, did it? So I've actually let this sit. This has been sitting for almost 48 hours now uh it's gotta see the color of it's nice and dark of course we got some excess around the edges that need to be trimmed off i'm gonna do that with a razor knife and then we'll lay this bow out it is just so awesome to be making a bow for nikolai If this works out, I'll probably wind up making a bow for everybody. Got to be careful about running into that grain. There we go. Now I'm going to find the center of this bow and lay out the bow. So the bow is 36 inches long, the, the stick, sorry. It's not a bow yet, but it's 36 inches long. So I want to show you guys a cool way to find the center with a tape measure. You can take your tape measure and you fold it to the 36 line. See that? Line it up. And then you can look up here at the very tip, right in the middle, you'll see 18. Just a pro tip. Okay, so I laid out my handle section. As you can see, I had a few little whoopsies trying to figure out just how long to make this and how long to make the fades and, you know, so on and so forth. Anyways, uh, I think that that right there is probably going to work. So I was looking for something. Sorry about the shadow there. I was looking for something to kind of uh, make my fade with. And I think that this right here will be just about perfect. A uh, nice little radius on it. Um it could be a little bit more. That might be more our style right there. It could even be a little bit more. I don't know. I'll find something though. Right, so I think I found something. I don't know if you can hear me over the rain, but I hope you can. Uh, I'm going to use this screen that I got for uh, screening my black powder. That should give us a pretty decent little radius there. Of course, you can just look around and find whatever you need. All right, what I want to do is I want to leave probably about a quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch probably might be a little thick for it. We'll go three sixteenths because we're making a really light poundage bow here. 
So three sixteenths. Set the tri square to the three sixteenths mark. Tighten it up. Go and check. Looks pretty decent. So we'll run all the way down. It's nice to have a little backstop here. What I like to do is I like to start with the handle turned away from me. Go ahead and bring this line straight down. And then you can flip it over. It's raining super hard now, uh, so I hope you can hear me. I might not talk so much uh, during the video just in case, and just kind of put info down at the bottom. like the rain stop for a minute so bring it over here because I do have just a small little three-point bandsaw uh, kind of hard to make that turn with this length so I'm gonna bring it to the scroll saw and cut that in with the scroll saw and hopefully do it straight perfect right here but it's not absolutely terrible it did take the lines clean that up a little bit on the sander clean the limbs up a little bit on the sander they're already starting to do a little bit of flexing so maybe a little bit more off of it and it'll do good
So now that I've got this thing sanded down a good bit, it got some bow to it. Look at that. Now I'm going to start my taper. I'm going to thin this out a little bit. I may, I may just come up a few inches and then taper in. Uh, and I'll probably wind up putting a tip overlay on there uh, just to make it a little bit stronger. So I'm going to mark out for my taper and then uh, I may just take it down on the sander. I laid out the limb. Let's see if we can see it right here. I'm going to taper from halfway up the limb. See, taper starts right there. Halfway up the limb and continues on. The taper is going to be a half inch wide at the tip. I come down a half inch to mark for my knock point and I did that on both ends. Take it to the bandsaw. Now we can smooth everything up on the sander. glue on the tip overlays for that I've got some little pieces of deer antler and some CA glue that might be too much but hey can never be too safe I guess So it pours out and glues my clamp. All right, I've got the overlays glued up. They've dried. Uh, I actually had a couple of things to do, so I had to come back to it. But anyways, the overlays are dried up. I'm going to grind them down to shape now. We're just going to file them down right here, a little bit right there, shape them up. All right, now I'm going to try to do the other side almost exactly the same way. So here, I'm going to, now that I've got my knocks shaped, I'm going to go ahead and cut in my knocking points. And you see where I made that line before just to have a reference line. 
Now I'm going to take this tri-square with the 45 degree reference and start at that line. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm going to start at that line. You notice there's a gap there. And I'm going to pull that up. Obviously it's that straight line, not that crooked stuff. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And I'll do this on the other end as well. And then cut my knocking points in. Wow, that was so hard to do on camera. Something so easy. So hard to do on camera. go real slow because you want these to line up really 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 well and after you have it marked off you can take the chainsaw file Tiller and tree stick, whatever it's called, uh, and my tiller and string. So I know people are probably thinking, man, I thought you said this was a little kid's bow. It is, but at the same time, I mean, I'd like for it to be functional. I'll have to build another, if I'm going to make any more of these, build another tiller and string. Push one up, it's a little bit shorter. Would you look at that? Ain't that sweet? I don't even know if my gizmo will work on this. It might be too big. I may just have to use a straight edge. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> oh, that's so cool, though. He's going to have him up over. Look at that thing. That's so awesome. Twist to it there. I don't know if you can see that. I mean, honestly, the pillar looks fairly decent. Maybe right there. side looks pretty good. In fact, it's a little shallow right there. All right. So I decided to go ahead and put this thing up to its brace height, which I'm just, I'm basically just guessing, but that looks pretty good.
And as of right now, it's pulling five pounds at 15 inches. <laughs> it's got a little bit of a twist right here. And once I make a strain just for this, it'll probably help out a lot with that and maybe fix up the knocks just a little bit more, refine them. But for a kid's bow, man, I mean, that's, that's pretty awesome. Oh, he's going to freak out. Okay, I got to do some, some work right here. Try to get this thing to come back around. Cabinet scraper might be just a little bit too big for this. All right, so you can see this looks pretty good right here. It's got a little bit of a limb twist to it right there, but I think it's the knock. So I'm going to take this string off of it and try to maybe bring this knock in just a little bit more and see if that'll help twist it around. So looking at it from this way, it actually looks like this one is a little bit more shallow which is the where it's got the twist. So it might just be pulling more on that side. I'm not, I'm not sure. But either way, I'm going to fix this one up. It's hard to tell because this is so wide with such a little bow. Maybe this side could take a little bit more up. Let's see. I mean, it looks pretty good. This side just looks steep. Which is maybe because my top limb is longer than the bottom limb. I don't know. So maybe the bottom limb has to bend just a little bit more to keep up with the top limb. I don't know, but it looks pretty good. It feels good. I'm gonna call it that. I'm gonna move on to the handle. Right here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut in my arrow rest. And I don't want it to come super far down, maybe about like that. And then from my fade out here, maybe curve it out, something like that. shelf over so I, I kind of wanted to do this kind of like peak right there not that bad 
finish shaping this handle out, make it a little comfortable for the guy. All right, so to shape the handle, we're gonna come back over here to the grinder, the grinder, <laughs> the sander, and start working the handle back and forth like that. Tape it up, get it ready for painting. This is going to be a Minecraft themed bow. So, not only is it going to be his first bow, but it's also going to be just an awesome bow. So before you go judging the color, remember, this is Minecraft themed and it's a kid's boat. So let that dry, come back, probably do two more coats just to make sure everything's nice and even. A little bit more work to it and it's almost finished. All right, see you guys back in a minute. All right, our coat of green is dried up. I've uh, chucked it back up in the vise. Now it's time to do some Minecraft decorations. Aha, uh -huh, a little creeper face. How awesome is that? That that's he's gonna love that. That's so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little pattern uh blocks, just little squares like that, different sizes probably, I don't know. But uh all the way down the bow. I'm going to 
Ahí está, Para que no pase Para que no pase All right, so here's the creeper. How awesome is that? That's really cool. But this is so awesome. This is so cool. A little bitty, a tiny little bow. It's more of a D bow than a long bow. But hey, he's gonna love it. That's what matters. That tool looks good, don't it? That's what I'm looking for right there. Look at that. Check that out with the true wool finish on it. That is absolutely beautiful. That red oak. Okay, so I'm gonna hang this up and let it dry for the night. And I'll come back out and see if maybe we need to put another coat on it. So this is it. This is the finished product. Nicholas Creeper bow. It's absolutely beautiful. I did a Flemish twist B55 string. 
to match the green and black for the creeper. And it actually, it feels really good. And he loves it. He loves shooting it. Uh, check these out. The little creeper Minecraft arrows. They work perfect. Some of them I've actually drilled out and set inserts into so I could kind of swap out the heads for some little target shooting. And then others are the blunts. And those are just friction held. He loves shooting the bow. Uh, it's actually really accurate and uh, it's it's become something that he actually wants to do, which is just amazing to me. Uh, he'll say, shoot the bow, and we're going to go shoot the bow. And uh, he, he likes to shoot balloons, and it's 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 really just an adorable sight. And it, it really, his face just lights up when he does it. It's 300. All right. Now let go. You want to do another one? <laughs> 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 he likes that. <laughs> Alright, three fingers. Mm -hmm. Now let's go. Oh! Yay! You hit it! <laughs> Good job! No step on So as you can see, he really loves shooting his little bow. Uh, it just, it, his, his just whole demeanor changes every time one of those balloons pop. It just lights up his whole world and it's just an amazing thing. I really enjoy being there with him, showing him how, and we bring him out here and we shoot, and uh, he shoots his, and then we shoot ours. But anyways, thank you guys. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And you know, I hope you guys come back and see the next video. Till then, we'll see you later.